tape up and we're away. Certainly, uh, Doyle has made a smashing start. And uh, but to Smarslik having dropped back to the oh, inside. Here he comes. Here he comes. Fabulous move from Smarslik. Made a big, long straight down the back. Right from the get-go. Yeah, absolutely. He comes off the outside gate. Doesn't get there. Beauty just beats him to the corner here. Perfectly timed cutback. He's actually got three riders ahead of him at that point. Look at the speed he generates, the confidence that he rides through that gap. Brilliant. And, uh, well, Jason Doyle, well, I don't think he would have known what hit him there. He was just about to turn into the corner. Tapes up. Away we go. Mickelson's made a good start on the inside. Martin Basile collecting to go high and wide. He's going to get speed here. Max Lots Frick. of speed. Oh, look at that from Frick. You're right. Brilliant stuff from Max Frick. Where did he find that from? Mickelson trying to repay the compliment. Pushing hard up the inside. Gets that. Martin Basile now. Oh, Brilliant stuff from Martin Basile. Charges up the inside. Block pass there. What a move from the side. Martin Vasilik right now as the upper hand it looks good. It looks good on the bike there. Just runs out really wide. A little bit of a mistake from him there because that allowed Mickelson to run across his run there. Had to get out of the throttle. Meanwhile, Max Fix hit the front with that uh, injury that we know is hampering him quite a bit. Bit cautious there as Mickelson runs across. He knows he's coming, but that man Vasilik's watching all this go going on. Just runs straight down the inside, mm. hits himself in front, runs across Mickelson, doesn't give him a clean run around the outside. Great ride from Martin. Takes up, we're in the way. Newley's made a good jump, but Dudek just about there. Here comes Holder around the outside, but Dudek has oh, pushed Holder. Newley wide. Holder. Holder, brilliant. That's just opened up beautifully. Chop back to the inside, long back straight. We see it here so often. Holder. His meeting's on track. This is going to be a real battle, isn't it, between himself and Vasilik? Absolutely, yeah. Dan Bewley made a good start there, but uh, Dudek just used that advantage of being on the inside of him. But look at that from Jack Holder. He just gets his wheels in line a little bit earlier, runs down the banking, and uh, lets Dudek know that he's coming as they enter turn three on the first lap. Great ride from Jack. Didn't really carry a lot more speed than anybody else once the race settled down. Didn't really go away from Dudek. Down now, takes her up, we're away. Becker's got there. Certainly uh, he holds the inside. Here comes Lingwin around the outside. Becker's going to be vulnerable down the back straight, and he is. Oh, oh that's my close. goodness gracious me. Freddie Lingwin there, clouds the fence. Doyle didn't give him a lot of racing room, but Freddie Lingwin has surged to the front. Lou Becker has just pushed aside. Uh, gets uh, awfully tight down the back straight on the opening lap. Jason Doyle actually makes a decent start from gate three that hasn't been working. And Freddie Lindgren here, high, wide line, no room there. And he still squeezes through. Let's have a look at it from this angle. Riding up the berm, he's up the berm there, a bit Tony Rickardson style. Oh, he's out of shape. Uh, yeah, absolutely out of shape. And uh, everybody doing very well to stay on there. Luke Becker, once again, he's at the front. You know, he really is mixing it at this level, but there. The determination of Freddie Lindgren squeezes past the outside of Jason Doyle, then up the inside of Luke Becker. Super ride from him. Down in second place. This is a tight battle between the two British riders. Down the back straight for the final time. Lambert now. So Lambert round the outside. He's got lots of speed. Robert Lambert, what a smashing ride from him. Just couldn't make it count, and then he switched his allegiance to the outside. Actually, Dan Bewley got defensive. That was probably his mistake. He went around the inside, gave the room and the grip to Robert Lambert, and he took full advantage of that. Smashing ride from Robert Lambert, who's had a tough night, but uh, has come through in flying colours there, and uh, puts himself into the semi-final.